Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to install the Lossless Cut video editor. It's a quick trimming application and it's on Linux. Now, there's something that you need to know. It's not gonna be easy to install like you type in sudo apt install or download an app image. You actually have to download the binary. You don't have to compile any source code, but you have to follow these instructions. But luckily, I will guide you along the way and it's not as difficult as it may sound, but it is time consuming compared to like installing a normal program. So to start off, and I'm gonna put the instructions on the side over here so we can work with it, but you can need to copy the download command and this will put the binary right into your download folder. And I'll take a couple of minutes to download, but uh, it'll go straight there and uh, we can get our file manager open just so you can see, and it's downloading, so. All right, now that the file is done downloading, we need to install unzip. Now, I already have it installed, but the instructions for how to get it are right here. After you do that, you need to move into the downloads folder where I already am, as you can see, and you need to unzip the lossless cut file. So we can unzip and it's going to inflate. And uh, as we can see, if we run ls, we can see lossless cut Linux x64. So now we need to gain root in the shell with sudo s. Now it's important that you understand that sudo s is key here because it will keep you in the folder you're already in. So it'll just elevate the shell. It's not gonna put you in the root folder and then you have to move all the way back. So we can still run the ls command and we see all our stuff is right here. So from here we need to move the files into the red directory. So we can do that. It goes into the op folder Go to opt, just to make sure. And as we can see, lossless cut is right there. So we can go back. And uh, it's no longer there. From here, we can create our icon with the touch command, uh, our shortcut icon, I should say, and download the icon file from the internet, which is uh, hosted on PNG repo, and uh, we are downloading that. And we can move the icon into the resources folder, like so. And then we need to open up the shortcut with our text editor, the nano text editor, and copy the following code. Now this code right here, just paste it just like that. You can also press Control Shift V if you need to. Once you're done with that, you can save it like so, and then press exit with Control X then you need to update the permissions of the file so that you can run it. And uh, you should be able to execute it. I'm going to look through my menu. I have a customized GNOME desktop, as you can see, but it should be in my sound and video area. And as you can see, lossless cut right here, just like a normal program, click on it and it should open just fine. I will say, and I haven't wrote this in the article, but if you run into some issues running the binary, as after I installed it, I had to pause really quick, you may notice a small little error here, shared libraries. Just install the gconf package like so, and it'll open just fine. But anyways, we can go to sound and video. If we go over here, sound and video, lossless code, or lossless cut, and it should open right like that, and it's just a normal app. You don't have to mess with the source code. Source code. You can't uninstall it like a normal package, but if you want to use this app and you want it to be easy, because otherwise you'll be, you know, CDing into the opt slash lossless cut directory and running it like a command like, uh, like this, it's not very user-friendly, especially if you're going to edit video and you want to cut and uh, cut your lossless video, which is what this program is for. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a good app. I definitely recommend checking it out. And I will see you in the next video.